in so much of life, uh, we work, uh, we earn, uh, we receive uh, what we deserve. Uh, not, not only in a payment sense at work, but we also experience that relationally, that uh, you know, kind of what you give is what you get. And grace is a really rare thing in this world, and yet it's exactly what characterizes the nature of God. Grace speaks of receiving in the most positive sense that which we don't deserve. Like if, if I'm speeding in my car and a policeman pulls me over, gives me a speeding ticket, that's called justice. Or if I was to kind of beg for mercy and he let me off, well, that would be mercy. But if he then gave me a block of chocolate, well, that would be grace. It's receiving what we don't deserve. Now, the Bible says with regards to Jesus, in him, we have received grace upon grace like just grace alone would be enough but the, the apostle was trying to communicate something it's like standing under niagara falls there is still more grace to come so how do you interact with god is your interaction with god like a, a payment plan it's kind of like i deserve it i'm basically a good person god you know you must forgive me or god you need to be good to me because of i have done this and i've done that because you're working on a broken grid if that's your grid it's a broken grid the grid that the bible speaks of is a grid where the very foundation of it is the grace of god that is he's going to pour out his love upon you whether you deserve it or not the bible says god demonstrated his love for us in this while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It's not that we deserved it. It's simply that he chose to give it. What a great way to live. And we can live that way day by day where the grace of God is our portion. It's not that I've, whether I've earned it. It's not whether I've been doing the right thing. It's not whether I took time with him at the start of that day. But rather, it's his very character and his nature. That God is prepared to pour out grace upon grace on our lives and that inspires us to live a life that's fully surrendered to him. He gives more grace when the burdens grow greater.